If you have a file that's not a raw image, you can still increase the dynamic range. You just have to be a bit gentler because the pixels might break apart if you get too aggressive. Here we have a landscape photo of the desert in Arizona. What I want to do is balance it out a little bit. Clicking the auto button will often do a pretty good job. I do suggest that you leave the clipping indicators on to pay attention. Now take a look at clarity. Clarity is going to add selective dynamic range and you can see the change there in the histogram. It's effectively bringing out more blacks and getting a little bit of local contrast. This tends to work quite nicely. Now continue to play with your highlights and your shadow point. What you want to do is make sure that you balance that out. Notice if I get too aggressive, the clipping indicators pop up right away. Be very careful with those clipping indicators that you don't overdo it. Now if we look at the side by side, you see that while it's a subtle change, the dynamic range looks a lot better. The key here is just be gentle. When working with a rasterized image, whether that be a PSD, a TIFF, or a JPEG, you can't go as far as you can with the raw file.